This is the Roulette Master, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. Also, ring that bell for notifications because I have new content releasing every single day of the week at 9 a.m. I just want to thank everyone for all the comments that everyone sent in yesterday. Number one, uh, about automated roulette and whether or not it's uh, rigged. And also, um, all of your comments regarding uh, Joe Dash's system, the Joe N. Barnes system. And um, I think it's a really good system. I'm going to try a modification of something that he used today. But first, let's talk about uh, automated roulette in the casinos. And the majority of you that sent in feedback all said that you thought that you were in agreement that when you play and the table is full, you win. And the table, when you're the only one at the automated roulette table, you lose. So I had a couple people that said that if it's in a casino, then it has to be regulated and uh, has to be 100% uh, random. But I would say 80 to 90% of the people that uh, commented said they had experienced the same thing as me. Um, and, you know, when you put your uh, casino card in like a slot machine before you play automated roulette, it definitely makes you feel like um, it's not as legitimate as playing uh, with a dealer. And I always play with a dealer if there's one available. It's just sometimes I go to the casino and every table is full on busy nights. And I've played some automated roulette, and that's what I have noticed. So thank you for all your comments on that. Please comment again on automated roulette if you have any further comments. And today I want to get to a modification of a previous system based on the Joe N. Barnes system yesterday. And um, this is going to be the one, uh, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to go over everything about it. But it's the one where you use two 12s. And you uh, you triple after you your first loss, and then you double after that on consec on the next losses, and then you work your way back down the same way that you go up. But I want to try a modification of the way that uh, Joe and Barnes system works, and uh, let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you what I'm thinking. So it starts out just like uh, his video yesterday, where if you win, you just rebet, and that does stay the same. Um, also, I wanted to throw out there that uh, the reason it's called the Joe and Barnes system is because it's actually two people that came up with that, uh, Joe Dash and uh, his friend, last name Barnes. So I want to give credit to both of you for that uh, great system you sent in yesterday. Okay. Okay, another win. So again, we just keep staying with the same bet if we win, just like the other one. <clears throat> another win. And usually you do get more wins than losses when you have 24 numbers, but sometimes you can be unlucky and start out on a losing streak as well. Right now we're doing pretty good. Right now we're up $40. But once we get some losses here, I'm, show, I'm going to show you what um, how I'm going to combine the greatest roulette system with Joe Dash's uh, Joe and Barnes system, and see what you think. Off to a good start. Okay, so there's our first loss. So just like um, the Joe and Barnes system, if we hit a third twelve, we're going to sit out. So we're going to spin without betting. And for those of you that play in a casino, you just if you do this sitting out, you just have to stand up. You can't sit down usually is the rule of the casino. So if it hits third 12 again, again, you spin without betting because we're waiting for a first or second 12 to hit. And what this is doing is it's making it to where we never lose on, since we're always betting on first and second 12, we never lose on a third 12 streak. So... That's really the beauty of um, the Joe and Barnes system from yesterday. See, we would have lost at least three in a row there and because we're on a streak of third 12s. And his system where you uh, wait for the first or second to hit to restart eliminates that. So, okay, now it would be time to bet again because we uh, didn't hit the third 12. <clears throat> but the, we, now we go into the progression. So... We're going to triple first. 
So we'll go from 10 to 30. Now if we lose this, we'll double the next one. But when we win it, we just go, like I said, go back down the way that we go up. So we would go triple, then double, 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 double as far as you can go. And then if you lose, you just go backwards the same way that you went up. So since we had only gone from 10 to 30, now we would go back to 10. And we're up $60 so far. There's another loss. So the next bet we know is going to be tripled, which is going to be 30. But we're not going to bet yet. We're going to skip. Okay, so now it's time to bet because we didn't uh, hit a third 12. And then we're going to move to $30 bets. So after this, when we wouldn't triple, we'd double. So it would go, if we lost, we'd go to 60. Okay, but we won. So then we go back from 30 back to 10. Now we're up $70. And here we go. Okay, we lost again, and so now we don't we don't bet on this next one, but we know the next bet's going to be 30 again because we triple first, and there's a one, and uh, so now it's time to bet, and we are going to go to 30 now. Okay, and we lost, so now we don't bet on the next one. But now we know that we don't go to 30 on the next one, we go to 60. Okay, and we had a third 12, so we don't bet. Okay, now it's time to bet, but the next one's going to be 60. And then if we were to win, we'd go back to 30, and then if we won again, we'd go back to 10. So it's triple, then double, double as far as you can go. We want it 60, so that means the next bet's going to be $30. And we're at $50 right now. Okay, we won, so now we go from 30 to $10. Now we're up $80, and you're probably, uh, for those of you that remember this uh, original method, uh, you don't recoup all your wins until you work your way back down. But you, sh you should work your way back down since you have more than half the numbers. You just have to have patience and a good bankroll. So now we're back at $10. So again, it would go 10 30 and then double after that. So 60 120 240 um, And then once you're at 10 you can't go anywhere. So you would just repeat the bet at $10. And we got another win. Now we're up a hundred dollars. So just repeat that. Okay, so we had a loss, so then we sit out. Okay, so it's time to bet again. We go to 30. Because again we go 10, 30, and then double after that each time. But then if we win, we just go in reverse. We don't go all the way back to $10. So in this case, we go back to 10 because it's the one before 30. So then we move back to $10. Okay, so hope you understand that. Um, let me know down in the comments if you don't. Um, but it's um, the combination of that greatest roulette system with uh, Joe... Uh, um, with some of the parts of Joe Dash's uh, Joe and Barnes system from yesterday. We'd love to hear more feedback th about that as well. I played it at the casino last night and did really well. It does take a while to, um, to grow the amount of money that you make, but it definitely has a money management system in it. So if you haven't seen that one, definitely click on it and try it out. Uh, anytime I'm in profit, total profit at all, with that system, I start over back at 10. This one's different. You work your way uh, back down the same way you would go up 
again 10 30 and then double after that so 61 20 240 and then if you won you would go back 240 120 uh, 60 30 and then 10 again so there's only one triple it's the first bet and then everything after that is double and then you recoup all your your losses by the time you get back to 10 so i hope you understand that and um, try this out and let me know what you think um, as always test it out before you take it to the casino um, you want to get that practice time in and feel comfortable with the method and um, if you have anything else you'd like to tell me about anything rigged in a casino um, i would definitely love to hear your ideas and um, uh, I definitely feel there's something to that automated roulette, and the majority of you agreed with me on that. And um, um, if anyone knows anything else about the, putting the casino card in there, and um, is it acting more like a slot machine than an actual um, roulette wheel, um, love to hear what you have to say about that. And um, again, let me know what you think of this modification. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button in the lower right hand corner and also ring that bell for notifications because I have new content releasing every single day of the week at 9 a.m. And I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the Roulette Master and have a great day.